Let's talk about the new X merch. It's come to my attention that this X merch wasn't designed by Jasse. So why is it being released? Well, let's talk about it. Let's analyze. I have all the designs that are going to be dropping this Saturday. I can walk you through them. We'll look at them. And we'll also take a look at what the original designers for Bad Vibes Forever did say about this drop. To start off, the first time that we're going to be getting this Saturday is a 17 hat. This looks very similar to the original drop back in 2018. The one that was a little bit distressed and had the 17. It is very similar to that one, but this one does look in more perfect condition. We do have a side view on it. We do also have a back view on it. This item does look okay. This item looks like it could be approved by Ja, but since we have the confirmation that I'll walk you through later, we do know that it was not approved by him. We also have other colors of the 17 hat. We have uh, one lighter, a lighter gray, and then we have one that's also a little bit more tinted blue right here. In my opinion, those hats aren't too bad. They look nice, they look cool, but still look different than the original ones that were dropped back in 2018. We also have erasers that are being dropped for more school kids, and this is a little bit weird. We do know that the people that would listen to X back in like 2018 back in 2017 they're age now six years plus that they're definitely out of school now so they're targeting a new age of x fans they're targeting a new age an age where people are still in school like grade schoolers or high schoolers they're targeting those people even though the majority of the true x fans that were there back in 2018 nothing against the true nothing against the current but the true x fans the ones that were listening back in 2016 17 18 we're, we're done with going to school. We're not in school anymore. We're out of school. We're working now. We're doing some other profession other than being in school and being told on your teacher what to do. So these erasers wouldn't be the biggest achievement to us. Yes, you can still use erasers on the daily. I, I use pens though. So I, I don't really use erasers. I don't know if you guys use erasers, but yeah, there's, there's erasers being dropped. I, I don't have the prices on any of these, but it seems weird for targeting on the current age of an X band. But they also may know their demographic. Now there's an alone hoodie here. You can see x from the front with a bunch of his tattoos the back of the hoodie has his face looking the other way this also seems a little bit weird and i don't see him saying yes to this hoodie in the production sense of it but this hoodie also seems a little bit just thrown together with pieces but in my opinion it gets much worse than just this here we have a close-up of what also may be done with the hoodie that i previously shown where x's body being pushed down a little bit on the hoodie back also looks similar but they're just giving a more zoom up of the original photo that i did show now here they have a t-shirt version of the hoodie that i just previously showed we can also see on the collar that says sincerely xxx and it doesn't say bad vibes forever so even there they're showing that this is not the xxx tentacion collection that he did create back in 2018 and for those of you wondering what collection am i talking about well, i'm talking about this collection that he mentioned on this video right here so what you can expect from me is my clothing brand bad vibes forever i mean when i distribute the clothing it's gonna come in boxes um it's which is gonna it, you'll, you'll see i'm going really 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 hard with the brand um However, it's going to be very expensive. I'm letting everyone know from now because it's not, it's not typical. It's not typical. It's not like, I mean, it's not superb, but due to, in due time, it'll be superb. But I'm, I'm putting a lot of energy into it. I'm putting a lot of energy. Um, I'm going to be marketing it a lot. He mentioned that there's going to be premium prices, there's going to be premium products, and he wants it for the true fans. They're trying to say that this is that. On the Bad Vibes Forever brand Instagram, two days ago, it was posted a note to Joss supporters. Joss say had always had the most loyal and strongest community. A type of love for everyone has for him is something that can never fade away or be replicated like a family. We want to build an official space for Joss community to engage with and support each other and also represent Jaw as an artist. For the first time in years, his website, brand, merchandising, and future events are finally back with the family and the original team that he trusted. There's been an overwhelming amount of requests for authentic merchandise and bad vibes forever to continue and we hear you. Today marks the official relaunch. All communications will come from this page and Jaws page. We love you all. The reason I read that is because bad vibes forever is different than sincerely xxx. Sincerely xxx has been seen in the past few years. They have been dropping merch from that. Them saying that there was no merch dropped is shown as not true. I'll have some images from other drops in the past few years and you can see that there are sincerely xxx merch that has been dropped but the bad vibes forever the ones with these tags the ones that were only drop limited after x passed away and that he was creating during his time here is not this drop it, it clearly is not this drop this is just put together this looks like spencer's clothing i'll have some spencer's clothing on the screen as well this looks like amazon clothing i'll have some amazon clothing on the screen as well it doesn't look like the original merch and i myself will not be purchasing this kind of stuff but let me get to the kicker let me get to the good parts the ones that will make you giggle let me get there so here's the same hoodie that i previously mentioned we have one with, with the same back as I showed you earlier. 
Now here we have an XXX Tentacion t-shirt. We, ha we have the tree right there on the eye, kind of a cool placement for it. But even still looking at that, we're not gonna be walking around with that on your t-shirt, especially with the back. The back just has the album set list for 17. And even the fonts change. It's not even visually appealing in the sense that it helps you glide your eyes. To me, at least, it doesn't look visually appealing to be like, yeah, okay, yo, this is actually a good design because it's just words printed on a t-shirt right here. There's not much creativity put into it. And with the different fonts and different spacing, I understand there's different letters in each of the words, so you can't make them all equal space, but maybe think of another idea then. Here's a zoom up of the t-shirt that I previously mentioned and a zoom up at the back of the t-shirt. Now we have the same t-shirt except in white. As you can see, it's the exact same t-shirt that I just mentioned except in white. We have a zoom up of it and a zoom up of the back. Now here we have a hoodie with XXX Tentacion and it looks very similar font to the Spencer's t-shirt that I previously mentioned. Here's the one from Bad Vibes brand apparently and then the Spencer's one on the other side as well. You can see on this Bad Vibes one, they have like some 17 writing. It kind of, you can see X's face on the left and trees in the middle. And on the back, they have the set list for 17, which again, I don't really understand why they're doing this because it's not like this is a tour t-shirt. This is just an album t-shirt. And this album was really good. It probably resonates with a lot of the youth currently. And that's why they're doing it because they're targeting the youth and they're not targeting us OG fans. But then they're gonna use the Bad Vibes brand Instagram to bring it to the OG fans, which seems contradictory to the type of marketing that you should be doing. You should be targeting straight just the youth fans. It makes sense though, since they're just trying to make money at the end of the day, and that's really the only goal of this whole collection is to make money. So just bringing it to our attention in any sense is, is what they're trying to do. Here's a zoom up of the 17 track list for y'all who were wondering. And then we have the same hoodie in white, and then you can see the same zoom in right here, as well as the back of the album cover. They took this exact one too, and they made a journal out of it. You can write your own thoughts in this journal. But even here, we know that X didn't work on any of this this was done by his creative team the one that is currently using his money to survive and the one that's living off of his success is bringing this to us so they can get more success yeah 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 we have one on a t-shirt too this one looks very similar to the spencer's t-shirt for me uh, i can't really see the difference my mom usually wears the spencer's t-shirt so i don't know if i'd be spending whatever how much money this one's going to be i'm assuming this one's going to be in the 50 60 70 80 range up there uh, like 80 USD, I could see them doing that, especially with the inflation that we have seen over the previous few years. But with that, it's just that uh, I just don't see myself collecting any of these items as I know they're not genuine Bad Vibes brand items. We have the track list on the back of the t-shirt, as well as the zoom in of the t-shirt on the front here and the zoom in on the back of the t-shirt. Now we have the same t-shirt in white, you can see it's exact same. And here's the back of it, here's a zoom up of the front, and here's a zoom up of the back. For those of you that are saying I'm going too quick, please pause the video and take a look at it if you want to see it. Now we have a new design here. Now we have a mashup of a lot of items with X putting his hands up. On the back of it, we also have a tree and it says Guardian Angel. And it kind of looks like they forgot to put one of the X's from XXX Tentacion, but I'll let that slide for now because it's probably still there. But even this one has nothing to really add to the old legacy of X doesn't really add anything that he was talking about. It was just fully just putting different pieces together. Here's a zoom up of the front of that one, as well as the back of the Guardian Angel hoodie. Here it's the same Guardian Angel hoodie, except the X writing is in red, and we have the back and the Guardian Angel is in red. And here is the X hoodie again in yellow. You can see the front up here, the back right here. And they also put these on t-shirts because they thought it was a good design and they want to sell as many as they can. And that's that's cool to them. Enjoy doing that. Enjoy making your money when this drops on Saturday. I will not personally be participating in this fun activity. Here is the front and then here is the back and here's a close up of the front. Looks a little bit distressed. They're trying to give it a little bit of wear and tear even though it's just fresh out of the closet and fresh out of the brain for the first time. And here is the back. Also a little bit of wear and tear on there apparently. Now they made a red one, and I'm assuming there's also gonna be a yellow one that's dropped. That's exactly right here. They couldn't get enough of just throwing X's face on a thing, so they decided to throw his face onto a t-shirt. Here you can see him as a child. This photo has been around for years, and his face on a t-shirt holding his hands together. I doubt he would have released anything close to this, but here we still have it in front of us. Here's the back of the t-shirt. The back actually looks kind of cool, but with the writing, the Times New Roman font of XXX Tentacion doesn't really make sense why they did that. And the words, yes, it's a cool quote. Doesn't matter how dark it gets, the sun will always come out. And let the sun be a reminder to you that all negative feelings and emotions shall pass, that you will outshine all that try to take you off your path. 
You are a star, you are divine, your life is your own, your purpose is yours to choose. Yes, dope quote. Amazing quote, but you don't write it in Times New Roman on the back of a t-shirt of a base image. And with the font right there with X's font, I don't really mess with that because it's just like, it's just thrown onto there. It doesn't capture the eyes. The photo, yes, captures the eyes. I mess with that photo. That photo's nice, um, but the, the font, I just don't mess with at all. That's just personally me. Now here we have a close-up of the front and then a close-up of the back. And then this hat right here has patchwork to imitate exactly where X's tattoos were. We have a side of it and you can see that the tattoos are right there. There, as well as on the right side of it and here is the back of it the hat looks fan made to me it doesn't look like x would do anything like this with the old 17 ones even with that one it was so like minimalistic and i've heard that a lot of x fans do want minimalistic and i feel like minimalistic is a way to go in the sense and not just overwork and throw images and throw words onto hoodies but more minimalistic like stuff that i have on the screen right now fans are looking for this but instead of this we're, we're getting this so yeah this next item i have is this mannequin tee where it says his birthday and his end date right there. And it looks a little bit weird because half of his face is black and the other face is white. And it's probably just showing that he went from dark to light. I understand the spiritual concept there, but even with that, it just seems weird to wear with somebody's death date on it. We have a zoom for the front and the back has nothing on it, which finally you did something without throwing it on the back. I messed with that. Throwing stuff on the back decals, I personally don't mess with them. I like it just clean on the back. So finally you did something with that, but the front just throws me off. Now we have the same t-shirt in white, and here is the back of the t-shirt. Here's a zoom up of the front of the white t-shirt. And now we have a mugshot t-shirt. Now they put his mugshot on a hoodie. And for those of y'all saying this looks kind of dope, yes, but let's look at the back of it. The back of it says XXX Tentacion with a tree. It just seems weird. Imagine walking and then somebody sees your back and sees that it just says X in a Times New Roman font. Dope dope i guess i guess dope <laughs> now we have a zoom of the mugshot i messed with that mugshot the mugshot's nice but the back of it i just personally don't like how they had to put the back on i liked what revenge did and revenge had that with the x mugshots on it that was a little bit cool take on it with his hand on the back that actually made sense because that's something that he approved during his life just having his name with a tree even though we don't know what the true meaning of the tree is shows a different light on it now we have a white of the exact same hoodie and you can see the front of it right here and the back is the exact same except in white and then here's a zoom up of it even right there you can see that there's a revenge take so i don't know if this is a collab with revenge i don't know if revenge is gonna be working on these items with the sincerely xxx brand but this doesn't this looks like they just copy and pasted that photo on top of that old revenge hoodie that we did get here's the back of it so it seems like it's the revenge font now it's the revenge puff print that they do do and we do know that x did not have the best relations with revenge at the end of his life either so they have a black t-shirt and yes the t-shirt on the front looks cool but the back again in my, in my opinion the back throws it off fully and here's a zoom up of the front of the t-shirt and the back of the t-shirt now we have the same one in white you can see we have it right here and the back of the t-shirt is the same as well. Here's a zoom up with the front of the white and zoom up with the front of the back. Now let's collect every single item of X that we know and throw it on a hoodie. Here we have a hoodie that's just spammed with items. It's just overload. It's just as XXX in the middle with a big image in the middle. You have it on the sides, you have words on the sides and on the back it says death before dishonor, alone, numb, wing ridden angel. What an interesting way to do it. Just put death before dishonor. Yes, a tattoo that he did have on his face. But then you're going to just say alone, numb, wingering an angel. Look at me, young brats, rip roach. You're just going to spam different X songs. Dope artwork right here. Here's a zoom up of the front of the hoodie. Uh, here's the sides. And then here is the back of the hoodie. Now they have the exact one in red because why not? Now they did the white one too because they wanted to just spam these. So here's the front and the back. And then they also put these on t-shirts and they have blue t-shirts and white t-shirts and then they have cement t-shirts. Now they're also going to sell these X pins that you can also get on Amazon. But this time they're from the Bad Vibes Forever brand. They're selling a sketch composition book. The sketch composition book is actually kind of hard. I have heard on Reddit that this is the only item that people are actually resonating with. That this is the only item that actually shows that this is items from X as the writing does look like X's writing and we do see images on the front. This is the only one that would actually put my money into, but they're probably still going to charge a buck and a half. We also have a lanyard. It's 2024. People don't really use lanyards no more, but and there's a white lanyard if you want to get it dirty real quick. Now there's a bottle too with X's writing on it. Again, they're clearly targeting a younger demographic for a water bottle as you wouldn't see somebody who was an X fan in 2016 using this water bottle currently on their job or wherever they're going in life. So I personally don't see this water bottle as used to the OG fan. On this next hoodie, they spammed X's tattoo onto a hoodie, like his tattoo on his chest. You can see the elephant tattoo as well as the Cleopatra tattoo. 
On the back of the hoodie, they spammed the message from Garrett's Revenge, the album cover from Garrett's Revenge onto the back, as well as a photo of Jasse on the back, interlighted with it. Looking at it, it just doesn't make sense why they did this. It's hard to read the message, and yes, the message does look nice, but the front of the hoodie throws it off with the overlaying of X's chest. I don't know why you'd want to put X's chest onto your chest. It's, it can be a personal thing if you want to do it. So that's up to you in that sense. Here's a zoom up of the front and a zoom up of the back. They also put this on a t-shirt. Oh, here's the front of the t-shirt and the back of the t-shirt. Next, they're gonna be releasing sticky notes for people. So here are some sticky notes. That's to say Sincerely XXX and the tree on it. So for those of y'all that need a late night assignment, write it on a Sincerely XXX sticky note. They have some X stickers with different tattoos from him and some tree socks right here. There are white tree socks and black tree socks. So what's my overall take? Well, I think this is a waste of money personally. None of these items X would have approved and we have got confirmation from his team that he would not approve these. Here are photos that are posted by Sleepy GF, someone who did work on Bad Vibes Forever brand. And the messages say such. I have not heard from Bad Vibes Forever brand and have not given any designs from that year portfolio, not consulted or anything like that. I as well as the two other people who actually did work on Bad Vibes Forever with Jase are unaffiliated and uninvolved with this drop, just as we have been since Chloe took everything over. Original team does not mean what you think it does. It means Garrett revenge, which I have to add, Jase had nothing good to say about either, at least to me, before his passing. Revenge did not reflect him anymore. That's why Bad Vibes Forever was even created in the first place. Shame that's going to end up in the hands of people completely uninvolved. People who he was actively trying to create his own image apart from. Completely uninvolved, but I was warned by a friend months ago that they would pull this rebirth. Said entirely with love, life is too short to hold grudges. This happens every time the bills pile up over there, and I let go of the dreams forever ago. Everyone gotta eat and do what's best for them, I guess. Y'all are not gonna get any of the original designs I created were approved by Jose or Kidway or Jerb at that time because they're mine. I never sold them more than the polos and the tees. They've never even asked. If they had even taken the chance to do this the right way, we may have happily worked together and make this rebirth of the brand mean something. Don't even know why my painting is still the profile photo for their Instagram slash brand face. Appreciate that y'all still think of this as the dreams we shared and had, had to bury with them. So what can we get from all this? Well, clearly this drop is not from X's ideas as we have just read from someone who did work closely with X that these items were not created by X. They weren't with the team of X. This is straight from him, from his mom and Garrett. Garrett, who he did not work with later in his life, the revenge. He did not work with revenge later in his life because of an outfall. And he did not speak highly about them. And his mom, who's tainted the full image of X right here as it's, yes, it's still X. It is X, there are X on the photos, but it's not what he created in his design. He wanted to make himself different. He wanted to make himself pushed forward in the light. Like these polo hoodies that he did drop were different. They were out there. They were something creative. He wanted to do something like that. I personally will be spending a grand amount of this much money on this drop. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this drop and if I'm going off on a tangent or if it's actually warranted for what I'm saying. So I love y'all, thank y'all. If y'all see the full photos for yourself and not have me walk through the video, please join our Discord, it's in the Discord, and I'll have the link in there for y'all to see. And please let me know in the comments below what you think about this drop. I love y'all, thank y'all, take care.